Hi everybody, it's Laura. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a haul, but I filmed the first part of the haul a while ago and the like, I'm splitting it up into other things. So I apologize for any weirdness that comes from that, but I'm gonna start today with Glam Planner. This is the teeny sub from June. And then I also have this like pre-order bundle thing from Letters to Apollo. It was kind of like birthday-ish themed. Um, so I can't exactly remember what was all included with that. So I'm really excited to open this. And I know it was gorgeous. And I also knew that it was not gonna arrive anywhere close to my birthday. So I will save it for next year. Um, and then I will have another Glam Planner order after this, and then I don't know if there will be anything else, but at least that. And then there's also going to be a non-planner haul, and that's why things got weird, because I had stuff mixed, and now they need to be separate. Anyways, um, this is the Teeny Sub, because I get the Teeny and the Lux kit all of the time. Well, whenever I actually order it. I love that you can skip her sub, like, just month to month, and not... Um, like lose your spot or anything like that. I'm not sure if we need additional light. I don't know if that did anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, so sometimes I skip it and sometimes I don't. So this is June. Um, I think, yeah, I think this is like Power Puff Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon would make more sense because there's all this like um, moon stuff. I think that's the name of it, is, uh, Sailor Moon. Um, so these girls, I think, are in Sailor Moon costumes. Can somebody help me out? Leave it in the comments if I'm totally off on this. I know who the Powerpuff Girls are. They're like the three with the red and the green and the blue. Because one of my nicknames is Bubbles. Um, and it's Bubbles and Buttercup and Blossom. But I've never seen Sailor Moon. No clue. But I think that's what this outfit is. Anyways, I like her hair. It's really cute. And the outfit is like super neutral. It's just like light blue and light pink and white. Um which in my world is neutral. And I think she's like holding up a, like a peace sign, like her fingers, like a peace sign. Um, I don't know. She just kind of looks happy. Like they're just cute. Okay. The next one are these girls in swimsuits on flamingo floaties and they are holding a like popsicle. Those are really cute. Again, really like light pale kind of neutral-ish. And then we have them sitting on the beach with the sun going down. I have so many summer time <laughs> teenies. Um, it's honestly a little ridiculous. And I'm like such not a summer girl. Like I like summer, but I don't like being hot. <laughs> so, and like going to the beach is not really a thing in Colorado. So, you know, there's that. Okay, anyways, this is a subscription Lux kit or whatever it's called. I'm just trying to get all the extras because you do get so many extras. Um, so here's the, the main eight boxes. Again, I think it's Sailor Moon. I feel like Sailor Moon was like red and blue and yellow or something like that, though. Like, is this just a different color scheme on Sailor Moon? Y'all, I'm struggling. I should have looked this up beforehand. <laughs> Sometimes it's just fun to hear me struggle, though, because, you know, who knows what comes out of my mouth. I mean, it's cute, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. I haven't decided on this. Um, so there's a watch, and I don't know. It looks like a wand, like a magic wand. I have no idea. No idea what that says. There is a bed, and then a purse, a cat, this little, like... Thing. This is fight like a girl. Um, another portion of like what looks to be like a bed with the alarm clock. And then I don't know. It looks like a compact of some kind for makeup. But I don't think that's what it is. You let me know. These are really cute. They kind of look like um, rainbow sherbet. Adorable. Love. <laughs> okay. Here's her legs with the little stockings on. And then all of the like functional stuff in these really cute colors. I love the color scheme of this and like that slight watercolor at the top. It's just totally my vibe. And like these boxes that are kind of like two-toned, love, 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 love. Deco, weekend banner, other functional stuff. How do you guys feel about the cutout icons versus the round icons? I don't know how I feel about it. I like cutout icons when they're like foil and stuff, but when they have this like color around them. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. This page has like the washi strip things or like the solid labels size stuff and then labels. 
more of those headers and quarter boxes, rounded quarter boxes. And then you have like headers, word headers, and glitter headers, or just like dividers or little things or whatever you want them to be. Um, work labels, nope, date covers, and the washi. It's such like a candy colored kit. I absolutely love it. These are exactly the kinds of pastels that I love. Um, here's like a neighborhood, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then the label sampler. And then the foil is called Glitter Hollow. And oh, the kit is called Serena. I missed that. Um, and it's got the moons, the like confetti, and then the date covers. Um, this looks like for the neighborhood double box and then the legs and I'm not sure and then some other like box overlays and then here are the probably the eight for the main kit um, overlays and then you've got the girls so you've got four different sets um, of skin and hair tone and stuff the, whoever this artist is her eyes, like the eyes on the characters, because I've had other kits with this art, um, or from this artist, and I don't know, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'll go with her. She's got the least freaky face out of the bunch with the eyeballs. Like, they're all pretty and cute, and like, it's so well done, but I, I don't know, something about it just is a little off for me <laughs> and not in a mean way like they still look really good like I would not mind at all if that was my only choice but I'll probably use some more of the boxes that don't have girls anyways let's start on the other stuff I know I've talked about this before but I'm like Pavlov's dog with filming and my nose running like I will be fine all day long and then I'll start filming and I'm like what the heck I don't I don't know what it is Okay, I also don't know if there's an invoice in here because I literally just opened it as you saw. So, just trying to be careful. Okay. Ooh, all sorts of goodies. Um, this is going to be fun because I really, I remember there's a kit, but I really don't know anything else. Um, okay, this is a Uni, Uniball 1 in .38. Um, I'm going to kind of assume that it's black. This kind of looks like a paper clip. That's funny. Um, but it has like this pink... Uh, part on it, so I'm not sure if it's actually black ink or not. It looks like we maybe got a black ink refill. Um, okay, so let me just scribble it. Oh, it's pink! <gasps> you guys, what? And it's like this color pink, like, like light neutral pink. What even? I'm so blown away right now. I don't love 0.38 for a pen um, size because I like my writing better with like fatter pens, but I don't even know what to think about that right now. It is literally a pen color of this. I have a feeling these were like random um, colors. I don't know if they were all pink or what, but um, that's really cool. And then we got a refill in black. What even? I had no idea that was a thing. That's cool. Okay. Look, we got little scissors. How cute are these? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love packaging. Product features. Professional human body engineering streamlined design. Right? Because like that's what you shop for with scissors. I want to know it, that it's a human body engineering streamline. Produced by the best materials with good ability to, of resist compression. I, what? <laughs> um, owning very natural and comfortable grip feeling. Be careful with the sharp blade when you cut open or close. The scissors must be kept in the place where child cannot touch up. Please clean scissors in time after finishing using if they contact acid or salt materials. Wow. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I love packaging. <laughs> so these are like a needle nose pair of scissors, um, which is why they give you the warning because they're, you know, obviously more intense than a blunter edge like this. Um, they have a very fine point to them, 
which is great. I don't actually think I own a fine tipped pair of scissors. Um, so I'm excited and they are just this cute like gold uh, butterfly design. Really adorable. They're nice and smooth. So yeah, cool. Okay, um, let's see. What we got? Oh, okay. Did she have a quarter two? Oh man, did I miss one? I liked that she was doing the, um, like kind of like a subscription, but like you don't have to sign up for it. You can just get them when you want them. When, and they're only quarterly. Cause I definitely don't need a subscription to a sticker kit place. I mean, I have Glam Planner, but like, you know, I can skip it when I want. So, and she has the seasonal ones. Okay, there's so much here. Like, there's foil. There's like four packages of stickers. I don't even know. Let me undo all of this so that we can. I want to save the cellos though, because obviously stickers go back in them. I'm so, my goodness, this is just too much. Like, why are these individually packaged? <laughs> I mean, maybe to like keep track of, maybe there were options. I really don't remember. Like, maybe you could get it with and without deco. I don't remember guys. I also don't remember how much I paid for this, but I'm really sad because it says quarter one and we're in like quarter three of the year. So I feel like I missed one and that's, what am I doing? And that's sad. I'll have to like poke around. Her cellos are no joke. Okay. All right, let's see everything we got here. All right, let's start with the foil. So the foil is little like butterfly lines hanging and then this like floral, florally sort of inspired design. I think there's some butterflies in there too. And this is in, I'm assuming light gold and silver and rose gold. So it's like a choose your own foil adventure. Um, oh my goodness, okay. And those are unclear, so those are overlays. And then these are also unclear. It's like a matte clear. Um, and these are just like a lot of butterfly designs all over. And again, light gold, rose gold, and a silver. And then bigger butterflies, these are cute. Very like sketchy um, in light gold, rose gold, and silver. And then on white paper, we got these little like boxes, a variety, a variety box style page. <laughs> in And these are not necessarily like as butterfly themed, I guess, um, like bows and florally type stuff. And this is in light gold, rose gold and silver. Really cute, really, really cute. Um, butterflies are not like my main thing, like, but it's cool. Um, all right, then this is the kit. Again, this is the quarter one sub. I don't remember if you could pick the foil color or if it just came with a foil, but I'm pretty sure this is her light gold. It kind of has like, no, I'm pretty sure that's her light gold. I was like, it's kind of a rose goldy, but I don't think so. Um, this is gorgeous. I mean, what letters to Apollo kit isn't gorgeous, but I mean, it's stunning. So it says, eyes full of stories, heart full of memories. I might use this with Tamara's birthday. She likes macarons and it's got some like purpley to it. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it for hers because um, that's in September. Um, floral with the bow, floral here, cake with like the drop down, um, balloons, the quote box, uh, the macarons and tea or coffee or whatever. Another floral, this really cute like dinner or tea scene or something like that. And then another floral, little tiny boxes at the bottom. Oh, beautiful. Um, kind of like a framed box, a habit tracker for the week and then little week habit trackers, bow checklist, and then the date covers and a variety of layering options here. And then tons of boxes and layering type things. Really, really fun. These colors are beautiful. I wish there was a little bit more of that like deeper grayish periwinkle, but it's fine. 
Um, a couple like word headers and then the double stacked washi. So you have a floral and then that kind of swoopy drop down butterfly thing. Um, and then three sets of headers. So you have the confetti and the confetti kind of is in that same kind of swoop um, look. And then the floral and then these that have like a little line and foil on them. I'm trying to capture the foil because I know it picks up every now and again. There you go. So that's that page. And then we got a sheet of stickers with girls. So kind of different skin and hair colors. So these two and then those two. Very pretty. And a sheet of deco, all different sizes. I'd say this is probably like one of the larger pieces and that's maybe like an inch and a half. Um, and then really, really teeny tiny individual leaves and flowers. Gorgeous. More deco, you have kind of like washi strip type things and then these like layering pieces and then all of the like birthday type deco. All really, really cute. And then this page is, well these couple pages are like a notes page kit or something. So this is on a matte clear foil. So you have washi strips, those like torn edges and then a ton of deco on the inside. I've been using stuff like this on my notes pages in my planner, so I'm excited to have this. And this page has some like mini boxes and those like watercolor layering pieces. And then also some like small checklist date covers and habit trackers. So I don't know if this is for like a B6 or exactly what size this is, but you know, I'll make use of it, I don't care. And then this is the same as the uh, this sheet, just not on the transparent paper. This is on white paper. So, so cute. I love that the deco is bigger because obviously like um, this size deco is great for like a weekly spread, but this size deco is much better for like a notes page. And then here is the second page of the of the white paper version. So again, you had exactly the same two sheets, but one is on a transparent mat and one is on a premium mat. So fun, like just so much stuff. Oh my goodness. You could do like a monthly with this. You could do notes pages. You could do multiple, multiple planners. You get so much stuff. Really fun. Okay, so that was quarter sub one from Letters to Apollo. And then if you keep watching, we'll go to the older footage. So previous Glam Planner stuff and I don't know what else, but <laughs> there you go. That was really fun. Did you guys pick this up? Let me know down below. And also if I missed quarter two, can somebody link me or like tell, link me to a video or tell me what it was? Um, Cause I'm sad if I missed it, but it is what it is. <laughs> okay, keep watching. Um, so this was during Glam Planner Spring Mystery Kit. Um, and then I bought some other things. Um, I will link in my last haul up here um, the things that I bought from the Glitch Sale from Glam Planner. And these are some of the extra pieces that go along with some of the stuff I purchased then, um, as well as just some other things. I can't remember. She, I think she had like a 30% off sale or maybe like a tiered discount sale or something at this time. I can't quite remember, but... I know I picked those up for that purpose. Okay, so this is the spring mystery. It's called Daisy Daydreamin'. And I have not looked at this yet. I've just seen like the front of everything, that, like what you just saw. Um, so I'm excited. These cellos are like the exact size of these kits and they're tough sometimes to get out of the bag. <laughs> um, like they need to be like um, a millimeter bigger on each side. Okay, so let's see. Daisy, did I say Daisy Daydreamin'? It's Daisy Dreamin'. I'm not sure what I said, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Okay, so here's the double box. It looks like a little cottage or a cabin in the woods and yeah, looks cute. Um, we have some green uh, foil. It's called Evergreen. Um, so you have the date covers, two strips of washi, and then like a 
third box, I guess. And it looks like maybe there's like a daisy pattern right here. So maybe there's a daisy on the washi. These are your colors. Um, we have like a buttery yellow, kind of like a more warm tone melon, I guess. Like it's a little deeper. Um, this kind of green and this pastel blue. I will say this green with the greens that are in the kit, at least initially, like they don't go at all like I mean not that I'm opposed to having different kinds of greens but this is kind of like if you know like traditional Crayola crayon colors this is like a jungle green and this is very yellowy green so I'm not sure how that's gonna go exactly we'll have to keep looking at what else is in here um, but these are the colors so you can see the colors with the boxes the main boxes anyways I like that this light blue is in there instead of like um, like a deep brown or something. I like the blue. Okay, so here are the main boxes of the kit. We have this little basket with daisies in it, a little laundry line, some daisies here, kind of a mirror and perfume on like what looks like kind of like a picnic bench, which is kind of a funny juxtaposition. Um, this really cute hat with the bow and a book kind of on like a picnic table or a picnic blanket. Um, and then this gorgeous swing um, like kind of like a porch swing, but it's in like the woods, not in a porch. I don't know. <laughs> and then a guitar. Um, really cute. I like how fresh and fun it looks. Um, and it's not themed anything in particular besides maybe like spring, but, um, it's just sort of like in this woody area. So there's that. Um, here's where we see some of that more blue, um, in the checklist boxes. And then there's two different hands holding a Polaroid camera. And then you can see all of the functional stuff here. Um, and it's in a slightly different setup than what I think I've seen before. I don't think this is, I think this is like a new, new format. Cause I don't remember these flags or square boxes before. And then this stuff is just rearranged. I really love the little Daisy uh, flags right here. Those are cute. Um, oops, I'm just throwing sheets. <laughs> um, this sheet has like the top row is like a, I think it's like a little thing size. It looks thicker than a header to me, but they're just like patterned. And then you have labels or like boxes where they're colored all the way around. And then these are more like a label where they're colored just on top and bottom. A third box, another um, square box and a label and then a rounded half box. Um, I like that she's changed and put only these half boxes and everything else she gives us is third or smaller. Um, that's been nice, but these are kind of fun sometimes if you need one every now and again, but I feel like most people don't use half boxes anymore. They just take up so much room. It's not really necessary. We have our cutout icons, the deco, the weekend banner, your two sidebar checklists, your two small three heart checklists, um, the movie marquee, and then two habit trackers. And then this page has, I guess these are probably like label size, um, and then a label, and then three, what are like her little things now, but they're thicker than they used to be. And then these two pieces, again, they look like old little thing size or maybe header size. I, f I feel like they're bigger than headers, but I'm not sure because there's two of them in here. And then rounded quarter boxes. And this is all slightly patterned. I guess these are solid, um, but everything else has a, a slight pattern. There's not something crazy with the patterns this time. And then this page has more of those. Maybe they are header size because now you have four, five, six, seven of them in each color. Um, some regular headers and then, or like word headers and then glitter headers. No, the glitter headers look thinner than these. I think they're like small, like old little thing size, um, which is fine. Like, it's great. You could use them as a header if you wanted to. Um, then we have a note label, the work labels, your date covers, and then your three strips of washi. Love this little setup of the washi. That's something different than she's done before. Normally she does three different textures or patterns, and this time she kind of combined the bottom two and then just a glitter. That's actually really cute. And then you'll have the glitter um, or the foil that could go on top of this. But again, this green does not match. I kind of wish she had done gold or something. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll see. Oh, there's more. Okay. 
All right, so, oh, well, this is different. Okay, so this is gold hollow. Yeah, see, this is prettier. Um, these are for the full boxes. And now we have green again. <laughs> I don't know. So there's two tall boxes, two third boxes, three regular box cover-ups, and then a label, a, um, an appointment box and then like a half box I don't I don't I wish it was all the gold but what can you do <laughs> okay then we have two of each kind of girl um all wearing the same stuff but kind of different hair and skin um so you've got the girl with the glasses and her hair kind of down her hair is gorgeous like oh my gosh I want curlyish hair like that I mean I'm totally fine with my straight hair too but like she's just gorgeous and then you have four with them in their hair and braids braided pigtails and holding a phone cute okay um wait okay nope I was wrong these are not tall boxes this is the double box <laughs> I thought they were separate but they're not this is the double box here um yeah, my bad. I wonder, I don't know. I can't decide if I'm going to like this green on top or not. If anybody's done that already and you know of a video where I can see it on the stickers, please let me know because I don't want to, normally I put these on like immediately after I get the kit just so I don't have to do it later. Um, but I really don't know how I feel about that. So we'll see. Okay. Then I purchased some other things. So this is the Ever After kit. Um, and I did purchase the Ever After kit in the glitch sale also. Um, but I think I just bought more. I can't remember because I bought like, maybe I bought the mini kit and now I bought the full kit. I think that's what I did. Um, I really can't remember though. <laughs> I, I feel like that's what happened though, is that I bought the mini kit in the glitch sale and now I have the whole kit. So here's the double box. Um, it's like a giant castle, the princess castle. And then here are the full boxes again, just in case you haven't seen my last haul. I will quickly go through this. These are the checklist boxes. And then, yeah, I think this is, I think I had purchased the mini kit. We have like the letter and then the apples and then all of the functional stuff, more functional. This is the same setup as the last kit I just showed you. So we're just going to flip through the pages if I can actually get through the pages. <laughs> Very nice, beautiful, soft colors. Those apples are going to really pop against these soft colors, and I like the color palette a lot. Okay, so there's the Ever After kit with the double box, and then I know in here there's some extras, so let me pull those out, and then we'll go through the rest. Okay. So here are the girls for the Ever After kit. You have um, like the angel kind of costume and then another one that says just breathe. Five different girls. They look absolutely gorgeous, like so cute. And then I picked up the boxes because I think I knew I had already purchased the kit like once and then was purchasing it again. So when I like combine leftovers, I can use some more boxes perhaps. And let me see. I think that's it for that kit. And then these went with one of the other kits I purchased in my last haul. Um, the girl and then like the hand. And you could get this whole set in different skin and hair tones. I picked the girl with the red, ha uh, red hair because it just went with so well with the kit. It was very, very fall. And this says Once Upon a Fall. And that, these are just so stunning. I had to pick those up. But those go with a different kit. I can't remember what that kit is called. And then I think I just have my other random, random purchases. So let's start here with these bigger sheets. So let me move that. Okay, so this is the Christmas bucket list and I got this in black and then also in silver. Um, they didn't have gold anymore when I purchased this because again, I think it was a sale. Um, but you just have all sorts of different text for Christmas related things, but I figured the black would go 
super nice also so it's fine um, but she's got a really nice selection and I've kind of worked my way through some of the stuff I have on other um, sheets so I figured I'd pick up a new one and then I picked up some holiday themed kind of foils so these are Easter underlays they have like little peep shaped bunnies and then Easter eggs and this is in rose gold because that's a foil I typically use during Easter um, and then I also picked up the matching bottom washi overlay in rose gold and the header overlays in rose gold. Um, then I also picked up the shamrock underlays for like St. Patrick's Day and this is in gold hollow which I thought was perfect um, as well as the washi overlay and the headers. They're so cute. And then lastly, I picked up some hearts, and these I picked up in gold foil as well, or gold hollow as well, um, because I have hearts in, I think, all of the normal foil colors. Um, so I picked up gold hollow just for something different. And then uh, the washi overlay and the headers. And then I also picked up these are teeny and bop eyelashes because I get my lashes and brows dyed now, so I have lash appointments. Um, this is more like for extensions or something, but you know, it works. And then I also picked up the honey and bun eyelashes because honey and bun is my favorite, but I look most like teeny. Um, but honey and bun is my favorite character, so, so cute. And then I picked up the dumpster fire. This is Kisma. Um, with the dumpster fire because like that just happens a lot these days you know <laughs> then I got some restocks and some new um, versions of things that I already own um, I'm this is uh, Lolly Lolly and Pop um, but I love the little panda outfit um, and I own like teeny in these I can't remember if I own any others I think I own oh no this isn't Lolly Lolly's the pink haired one Lolly's this one um, polka. This is polka. Polka and dot. Um, so yeah, I think I own Lolly, but I don't own this one yet. And then this is polka on the phone, and I liked it because it had a pink phone and then the little panda. Um, I think my other one has a blue phone, so it just goes differently. And then I think I've used up almost all of my manicure, um, stickers from Glam Planner, the, the teenies. So I picked up Lolly and Pop. Her little buns are so cute. And then this is Lolly on the phone. So again, here's her like blue phone. So cute though. And then here's Teeny on the phone with the pink. And then here's Teeny with the nail polish. And then here is Honey on the phone with her little bunny. And again, it's blue. There was a lot of blue ones. That's why I picked up the other one as well. This is Honey sleeping with her pink pillow. The other one had a blue pillow. So I think... It's nice to have a variety. And then I have Lolly and Teeny and maybe Bippity. I can't remember. Bippity I don't use nearly as much. Um, I use her to mark friends often because I have a lot of brunette friends. Um, but I don't typically use uh, Bippity. Um, this is Honey doing laundry. But again, she has a pink laundry machine. Um, a laundry machine. A washer. <laughs> Um, whereas I think Teeny has a blue one and I think Lolly has maybe purple or something. So just more variety to have. And then this is Honey like relaxing in like PJs with her bra off, which I think is hilarious. And then this is Honey with nail polish. So that is everything for my Glam Planner haul, which was a lot of random stuff, but you know, it's okay. And then I have my Walmart beauty box, which I've been getting these like for a month or two. Um... But, uh, I had skipped it for a while. Um, and these are like, I want to say like $6. They used to be five. I think they're $6.95 or something like that now, six or seven. Um, but it includes shipping and I personally like it because you get some samples of things that are a lot more affordable than like a Sephora box or something like that. Do they even do that anymore? I have no idea. Um, and I find that I've used the products from my Walmart beauty boxes far more than any other beauty subscription because they're just a little bit more practical. Like you don't get like a perfume sample every time or like 
some face product that like you don't want to mess up your normal skincare and then it's like you get to use it once and then it's like do I even know like and it's really expensive and you know all the things whereas if you get a face product in here like you can try it and then you can spend like ten dollars or under and have the product typically so I just like these and you get a lot of like things that you can use for travel which I also appreciate <laughs> um so here is my box this is the summer box and it says summer glow up Hashtag Walmart Beauty Box. And I will just let you look at this. This is um, like the list of like the variety of products that you could get um, because you don't get all of these. But here's a variety. And you can pause that if you need to. Um, and then here is a QR code to purchase a Cetaphil on walmart.com I actually don't really shop at Walmart but I like their beauty box <laughs> okay um so this is embrace your gray go gray purple toning mask a brightening and hydrating hair mask for deep moisture purple tone helps brighten and enhance gray and silver hair this seems like an oddly specific thing to put in a beauty box because I do not have gray hair um I <laughs> I have blonde hair so I can use purple products mine's natural but like it still helps get rid of like any orange or redness or anything from like your water like iron in your water stuff like that um but this is just kind of an odd I don't know I mean you like choose settings and stuff on your profile but I I definitely don't have gray hair so just a little weird on that one <laughs> but I'll use a hair mask it's fine um okay this is sagely naturals extra strength pain relief cream instant cooling with 10% methanol so I'm thinking it's kind of like a Bengay or an icy hot um is my guess especially with the menthol in there um but maybe a more natural version it tells you all these things that it doesn't have in it I don't use products like that often, but I do Pilates. Well, when I don't have a broken foot, I do Pilates a lot. And so I will definitely try that out because I get sore all the time. <laughs> um, this is a very, very small sample of Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen, and it's SPF 35. Um, Cetaphil's a great brand, so, you know, I'm not opposed to that. Um, let's see. Completely bare hair removal experts. Don't grow there. Lemongrass and green tea scent. Body moisturizer and hair inhibitor. Huh. Here's the scoop. Stay smoother longer with our hydrating hair inhibitor. Wonderfully scented with lemongrass and green tea. Don't grow there. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, smooth moisturizer over body, giving special care to areas where you wish to inhibit hair growth. For best results, apply twice a day for a minimum of 28 days. Okay, then. Interesting. Let's see if I can smell it or if it's closed. Yeah, it smells good. I thought it was going to be like Nair kind of product, but a little bit a little bit different of a product. I've never seen a product like that before. That's very interesting. Okay, then we got a NYX Butter Gloss, which these are great, um, just kind of cheap lip glosses. I mean, you know, not cheap in a bad way, just like less expensive. Um, and this is the color Apple Crisp. Um, it looks a little bit orangey red to me, but I'll probably still try it because like, what's the harm? I already own it. <laughs> and then lastly, we have a liquid IV hydration multiplier, and this is in Pina Colada. Oh, I'm kind of bummed about the flavor. Um, I think we got one of these somewhat recently in a different box, um, like a different Walmart beauty box, and I think I had like a berry flavor, and it was actually really good. Um, I was kind of shocked at how good it was. Um, like I'm tempted to possibly buy these. I have a medicine that makes me very dehydrated, so anything I can do to stay more hydrated is great, and I'm obviously from just one use. I'm not really sure if it like did anything in particular um but it tasted good but I don't like um I almost said I don't like pineapple because I was reading pina colada I love pineapple I hate coconut so we'll see how this one tastes I'll still try it but um I don't know that I'm gonna like this flavor so we'll see um yeah it depends how coconutty it is but that is everything in my Walmart beauty box so again for like I think it's six seven dollars um, you get a little moisturizer, a full-size NYX lip gloss, um, this 
hair inhibitor moisturizer sample, a liquid IV sample, um, your toning mask, which I'm sure like depending how much hair you have, um, I know I can probably get two uses out of this and I have long hair, but I have thin hair. So, um, I can probably get two, two uses out of this mask. Again, kind of a weird specific product about the go gray. I just happen to have blonde hair so I can still use it. And then this little like pain relief cream sample. Um, so I feel like I'm happy to try all of these products. I don't necessarily know that I'm going to use them all like regularly, like this lip gloss, but I'm happy to try them and maybe I'll find something else that I really, really like out of this set. We will see.